ghetto everything hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm your girl marcia Tis, and today i'm bringing for you uh my program motivation sunday i know that a lot of people who subscribe to my channel you subscribe to my channel specifically uh because you are encouraged by my story because maybe you watched me on another channel on your last tv maybe you watched me on tuko maybe you watched me on uh just as whatever you watched me at uh maybe on ntv but people followed me especially because of my story because uh, i've received a lot of messages on whatsapp on email many people have called me just to say thank you so much for sharing your story because uh, you found my story to be encouraging to you and if you look at all the channels where i shared my story i always insisted do not give up don't give up no matter what you're going through right now we are in 2022 and we are living in a times when people are going through so much stuff we are living through people who are going through poverty disease corruption just to mention a few people are really 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 struggling especially economically uh, we are living through a time when people are even committing suicide because people are losing hope because there is just uh, when you look maybe you are not even able to provide sometimes your basic needs uh, food clothing shelter and you just feel like uh, there is no point of living there's a story recently of a woman in Kenya who hanged her baby and then hanged herself this just makes me so sad and this is why I've decided to talk to you guys and to tell you that don't ever reach a point when you just give up like that and reach a point of suicide. Suicide is not the solution. I said in uh, one of the interviews I did that as long as you're still breathing, as long as, as long as you're still breathing, there is hope in life. You can be poor today, you can be miserable today, and then tomorrow things change as long as you're alive god has a plan for your life as long as you're alive god has a purpose and a reason and there's something that is coming so i want to encourage you my brothers and sisters who are watching today please 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 no matter what don't give up in, in life and uh if you can notice i'm taking this video in a natural place and i started this song by uh then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art if you guys know my story you know that i've spent most of my life chasing after worldly materials chasing after wealth chasing after money but at the end of the day i find that uh it is all worthless it is all useless what is more important is having the inner peace you can have all the money in the world but you have no peace you can have all the materials in the world and you have no peace so the most important thing is having a peace is having peace peace in your heart peace in your mind peace in your body and one thing that guarantees you to have peace is nature when you look at god's creation you see god himself and the works of his hands things that nobody can do i personally believe in god and i've always made that clear i personally only know god's way i've never been to any witchcraft i've never done anything out of god's will because this is the only thing 
that my mother taught me before she died. My mother told me that there are witchcrafts, there are uh, powers of the evil, and, 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 and the witch doctors, they have power. But there's a stronger power that is more powerful than the witchcraft. And so since my mother died, I've always stuck to her teachings and to her instrument. Even sometimes when I don't go to church, I've always known in my heart that the only way is God's way. That the only hope is hope from God. That no human being can uh, help me, uh, no human being can give me peace, no human being can make your busyness to flourish. No witch doctors can make you to prosper. No human being can make your relationship to work. No human being can save your marriage. And for me, personally, I promised my mom before she died that I will never, ever, ever, ever try any other way apart from God's way. And so I wanna encourage you, my sister, that people may let you down, that family may let you down, that uh, the world may let you down, friends may let you down, but if you stick to God, and if you hope in God, and I always say that, uh, the Bible says that, uh, I have never seen uh, somebody who trusts in God go hungry. If you trust in God, you will never go hungry. You will never lack. He always provides for your needs. And so, don't give up, no matter what. Don't trust in human beings. Don't trust in your wealth. Don't trust. Don't lose hope because of what you're going through. Everything that you go through is just temporary. Is just temporary. And I always say that these two shall come to pass. Last year was a year that I went through a lot. In the year 2021. Although uh, most people uh, just looked at... Uh, me on another way, like uh, I now own motherland and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to go into so many specific details, but uh, last year for me was a year that I saw myself as a failure, you know. I felt like nothing was working. I was hiring employees, uh, and, and uh, I, I went through so much, yeah. And so many people came to me and they told me, oh, I can take you to Mombasa. Oh, I know somebody who can uh, make your business to flourish. I know somebody who can bring for you customers. And they will be eating fish and there will be no chairs left to sit at Motherland. And there will be what? And I told them, listen, listen to me. I really appreciate what you want to do for me. But for me, I belong to Christ. I belong to God. And I'm not going to go to Mombasa to look for some human being to make my business flourish. So, uh, if you had to stand with God, I always say this, if my God is gonna let me down, if my God cannot help me to prosper, if my God can fail me, then let me fail with my God. But I'm not gonna look back, I'm not gonna look on the side, I'm gonna keep focusing, keep trying, keep working hard, keep uh, hoping, keep trusting that if you're alive, that God has a purpose for me that God has a purpose for you, that God has a purpose for us. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a Sunday, and just hear from me. You, most of you, you know my life story. You know about how far God has brought me from. You heard my story about deportation. You know about how I was deported without a single penny after living in America for 10 good years. You guys know my story. You guys have listened to my story. You guys have cried with me. You guys have supported me. And if God could take me from that far and bring me all the way to Kenya, and then I could open a business, and God can keep me alive and safe up to this time, why can't he do for you? Why can't he do for her? Why can't he do for them? So my only encouragement this Sunday is to keep trusting in God. My dear sisters and brothers, I'm not a pastor, I'm just Masiatis, but I trust in God. I'm not a preacher, I'm not anybody, but I want to motivate you today that if you're feeling down right now, just lift your hands up and just ask God to open doors that no man can close. Just ask God to uh, see you through whatever you're going through. Just ask God that this too shall come to pass. I don't know what you're going through. Maybe you're going through a hard time with your husband. Maybe you're having a difficulty paying school fees for your children. Maybe you're having health problems. Maybe you're having 
uh, financial problems, maybe you are looking for a job, maybe you are trying and struggling with your business and you can't pay rent and you can't see the money coming in, don't give up in life. Don't ever reach a point where you have to take your own life. It will not help anything. Your children will suffer. Imagine if you die, who will take care of your children? Especially if you have children. And even if you have parents, if you have brothers and sisters, you're gonna let them suffer. But who will take care of your responsibilities? So ladies and gentlemen, just enjoy life until the day that God calls you home. We all know that we are visitors in this world. Nobody is here permanently. Nobody should show you uh, that you are below them. Because you know what? When death comes, it hits everybody. It doesn't matter if you're rich, you still die. If you're poor, you still die. Everything in this world is vanity. Vanity, vanity, vanity. So nobody is better than you because of what they have. Nobody is better than you because of what they own. Nobody, don't worship a human being. If, if, if let's say for example, you're trying for somebody to help you, but they are not. Don't worship them. Don't worship people. Worship only God. Okay? I love you guys. And uh, I hope that I will see you next Sunday. <laughs> bye bye. So guys, to recap on what I was just talking about, not giving up. Today, I want to give you an example of two individuals who never gave up in life. One of them from America and another one from Kenya, Africa. So the first woman I'm going to talk about is Oprah Winfrey. I read the story of Oprah Winfrey from her book. Uh, Oprah Winfrey actually started out as a model. Yeah, she was a model and uh, from being a model she moved into being a journalist. She was reporting on weather. So while she was a journalist, uh, she faced a lot of uh, racism and discrimination. Yeah, she was often being rejected uh, as a journalist that she was too black and that no TV station could hire her. Uh, she was being discriminated against because of her skin color. You guys know about, uh, if you have read the story of Oprah Winfrey, I follow her, I love her, I admire her personally and um, she started the Oprah Winfrey show. And one of the very first shows that Oprah Winfrey used to do was to call uh, people who are really, really racist into her show and ask them like, why do you hate us? Yeah. If you really look at the very, 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 very first shows of Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey show grew up to be one of the biggest shows, not just in America, not just uh, anywhere, but in the whole world. Oprah Winfrey right now is, I can say, one of the richest human beings in the whole world. But what if she had given up? What, she, what if she had committed suicide? What if she had lost hope? What if she had just said, okay, they don't want me because I'm black, I can't change my color, let me give up. No, she never gave up. So don't give up, yeah? Because you don't know, maybe you're the next Oprah Winfrey, right? You don't know what God has for you. You don't know the plan that God has for you. So another example I'm gonna give you guys is uh, a very, very influential uh, woman in Kenya named Mata Wangari. You know the story of Mata Wangari? Mata Wangari is the woman who saved Uhuru Park. Imagine without no Mata Wangari, we would not be having Uhuru Park in Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, she always planted trees. I love this woman so much. I read her book uh, more than once and she always planted trees. She went through so much. She went through so much, going through hunger strikes, being chased by the police officers, but she was determined. She was determined to have nature within the city of Nairobi. And what did she do? She won, guys. At the end of the day, uh, after all this struggle, after all this, she was recognized not just in Kenya, not just in Africa, but in the whole world. She was actually the very first black woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize. And may you rest in peace, Miss Mata Wangari. And uh, right now, guys, uh, you may be going through a difficult relationship. But if you're going through a difficult relationship, maybe that is not the person who is meant to be. You know, sometimes, I'm not saying you break up with your husband or with your boyfriend, but if, if, 
if, if things are not working, you cannot force things to work. You cannot force somebody to love you. You cannot force somebody to love you. If they love you, they love you. If they don't, they don't. I always tell uh, uh, to my guy, I always tell this to my guy, if anything was meant to be, then it will be. And anything that was never meant to be, it will never be. It doesn't matter if you cut yourself with a knife. It doesn't matter if you hang yourself. If it was never meant to be, it was never meant to be. So if you are in a relationship that you have really, really struggled with and you now want to give up and you now feel like I want to kill myself because of this dude, hello, did he create you? He didn't. So don't give up because of a man. Don't give up because of a woman. Don't give up because of a person. Don't give up because of a boss. Maybe it's a job that you have wanted for so long and you finally got it. And then whatever happened, you got fired from a job and now you feel like all hope is gone. You feel like there is no point to keep trying. Hello? Did that job create you? Have you not grown up since you were baby? Have you slept hungry? If it's not that, maybe God has something for you. Maybe God wants you to open your own business. So guys, if it is a job, come on. There are so many jobs, guys. Just uh, if it is whatever you are going through, don't give up in life. Don't give up in life. Don't get tired of life, okay? And if you feel really, 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 really stressed, just be like me. Go through the nature, look at God's creation, look at the rocks, the beautiful rocks, look at the mountains, look at the water, look at the birds in the air, look at the sky, look at the moon, look at the stars, look at everything and just say, it is well with my soul, it's okay. People have gone through a lot. Last year because of Corona, it dismantled everything, the businesses crashed. People died, people lost their families, people lost uh, the time they were supposed to achieve their degrees, people are not able to graduate from school, education, financial uh, businesses. But you know what? Uh, after a storm, there always comes a time to celebrate. So let's go and sing. Storm is over, storm is over now. I can see the sunshine, somebody's over there. Come over, set me free. You guys have a blessed week. May you have a peaceful week. And uh, just let go and let go. Okay? Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Subscribe. We're going to be posting a video here every single Sunday at 8 a.m. in the morning. East African time, Nairobi time, 8 a.m. every Sunday morning. So guys, uh, thank you so much. You can find us on Instagram. My Instagram page is Mercy Music. That is M-E-R-C-Y Music. Music with a K, not a C. So Mercy Music is on Instagram. Facebook page is Healing Songs for Hurting Souls. Okay, on Twitter, you can find us at Mercy Music. KE. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye. Boyo wangu na ikuimbie. Let it fly, let it fly, let it fly, let it roll over your.